welcome back ladies and gentlemen to my fire emblem three houses stream 100 percent azure moon um all knights playthrough which means everybody who's on the field is actually fighting in a knight type master class and um yeah <laughs> perfect um we left off in the last week of fort mercius and i do want to get to fort mercius this week um well, this week, today, actually. So we are going to do quick lightning round with some leveling and then we're going to jump straight into Mercius. I think at this point, pretty much everyone is already in a class, in the class that they need to be. Why is he still a Wyvern Rider? Why can I not certify him? I can actually. Why did I not do that? Um, let's certify a few people real quickly. See who we still need to level. And then we're gonna do like really quick lightning um, round for the leveling. Before we jump into Fort Mercius. Um, he is a holy knight. That's okay. He is a war master. She's a bow knight. She's a grammary. This is all looking good. I am just paranoid right now. I'm double checking that everybody is where they are supposed to be. Yes. Bow Knight, Falcon Knight. Uh, he's definitely in his right class. Oh. How many ranks do you need? Oh, not much. Okay, cool. I can live with that. Yuri needs levels and Constance needs levels. Okay, so we're gonna level Yuri and Constance and then we are going to and then we're going to level one of our own people. And after that we go straight to Fort Mercius because Fort Mercius is very interesting in Asher Moon because it works a bit differently than it does in Silver Snow and Verdant Wind. Asher Moon is the only um, route where I actually like the uh, Fort Mercius map for a very simple reason, and that is on Verdant Wind and Silver Snow you have a time limit on that map, and in Asher Moon you don't. Okay. Ditch that, please. I thought, no, actually she can keep those. Should still be good enough. Um, Keller Lance, let's go. Just gonna have to repair this stuff. And he needs an experience gem. Super quick power leveling, let's go. Um, marketplace, repair. Yeah, um, I hate it, especially because What's my strategy? I'm the kind of person who actually likes to route the entire map. I like to get everything that you can get, pick up all the things, kill all the people, and uh, then you get a time limit on the map and you're just like, why? I don't need this. But yeah, this is going to be like five minutes per battle. Maybe, if even. And once we have Yuri and Constance level up, we can basically just do this, but with our normal crew that we actually need for fighting. So the blue lines, so that we can get them a little bit higher in level as well. Because they already have all the skills they will ever need, but they can sure use some more levels. Only in the games. Only in the games. I 
Papa, I, I do like a good ban hammer every once in a while. <laughs> you kind of have to when you work in community management. Ta da! Oh, now my lance broke. Okay. It won't be in vain. Okay, perfect. So, number one. Number two with Constance, and then I guess we just go down the list and we start with Dimitri. Not that he needs more level ups, he's like already super busted, but you know. All right, we do want to keep Byleth and Constance is down here. Well. Repair that iron lance. And let's go. my strategy I have I have That's Oh yeah, she's definitely getting to level 30. That's no problem. Thank you. There we go. Now I just need to wait for all these other guys to die. So we can finish the battle. There's some mages back there who haven't made their way to us yet. Okay. That's Come on over, guys. I have the chalice of beginnings. Don't be shy. There we go. One last leveling round. Come on, load faster. <laughs> I hate the loading screens in this game. There we go. We want Dimitri. Let's go. Take that lovely experience gem. Oh, whoop, no. Well. Repair. Is that nice and repair. Is Let's go. What's my so Dimitri is not going to gain as many levels because he is already pretty high in terms of level. But he should still get a few. He won't be able to catch up to Byleth because she's level 53, but you know, that's what I get for using her for leveling people. Oh, and I actually got hit there. By who? How? 
size. Oh my god, he actually got a speed level up for once. Thank you. No, what the fuck? Oh, whoops. It's actually getting good level ups, my man. Well done. That was a fast one. All right. Okay, now we can go to Fort Mercius. We just need to rearrange our inventory a little bit. And this battle, of course, if you did Mercedes as Paralog, um, you get a special little, um, special little dialogue at the end of the battle. Because this is going to be our final match against the Death Knight. Oh, nice, we actually finished her quest. Okay. Um, please ditch this one and this one. Equip, thank you. The chalice of beginnings and everybody else should be set up correctly. He can go into Mortal Savant. Yeah, <laughs> you fight him so many times, and the first time he's actually super hard to fight. Um, I remember when we did it for this stream, we actually lost our fight to the Death Knight in Chapter 4. Um, we had to redo that entire battle. But um, latest, by the time you fight him for the third time, you're just like, yeah, I, I have like six different ways to counter you by now. Um, so at this point, it's really just, we're done. Okay, so I think the only one who still needs to certify is Catherine, because she doesn't have her ranks, but she does have her level. So that's good. That problem is pretty much going to solve itself soon enough. Going to take care of our battalions. And our weapons. Yeah, this definitely needs to get fixed. Uh, yeah, let, I'll take it. Oh. Right, I keep on forgetting about Gilbert because he's so far down in the list. But he's fine. Okay. Um, let's go. Mercius. Kingdom army crosses the Great Bridge of Murden a second time, moving south through Grander Field. However, in order to reach Anvar, they must first seize the impregnable Fort Mercius. Fort Mercius. Said to rival Arian Road and the Silver Maiden. Perhaps a head on siege was a foolish plan after all. No, you're right if it's the only way. I don't think the Death Knight would have fallen for any tricks. This is true. In the routes where you do try to trick him, he is the one who actually sees through the tricks. His soldiers fall for it, but the Death Knight himself doesn't. Even if they are denied supplies, they could hold a fortress like this for months. And that too. And we cannot discount the possibility that they will receive more reinforcements if our siege is delayed. <sighs> yes, 
My thoughts exactly. And we have no option but to do the best we can. Say, Professor, in the past, it seemed like the Death Knight took some strange satisfaction from his fights with you. He's an unpredictable opponent, a dangerous one. Please proceed with caution. I have not come this far just to lose you here. I'm serious. Do not be reckless out there. Mercedes. I love this. So, the Death Knight really is inside that fortress. Dear Emilia. I want you to know that no one is forcing you to battle with us at the front lines. I support whatever you decide. Please stop. We can't have you saying that. You and I are the same after all. We both have to fight our family for the good of the world. And since that's the way it is, I couldn't live with myself if I was the only one running away from this battle. I will bring Emil back to his senses. I must. I'm his big sister after all. Yeah. Understood. We'll see how that goes. Stay safe out there, Mercedes. But I do love I do love that he gives her the option to say, hey, I don't want to fight my brother. I would rather just stay back in the support lines. And I also love that Mercedes is like says the guy who is about to fight his stepsister, so um yeah, no, we're not doing this. Report. The main gate has been breached. You are finally here. Will death sight claim you? Or will I fall to that sword of yours? Well, Death Knight. And Mercedes. Here you are as well. Death Knight, you know that I haven't used that sword in like forever. If ever. And also, I, I'm gonna send Dimitri to fight you. Like, that's just... <laughs> the Death Knight is very much a Dimitri... Uh, a Dimitri task. Just chuck him in there with his battalion vantage, he'll be fine. <laughs> exactly. Like, if I'm fighting him with the Black Eagles, I usually fight him with Petra. If I fight him with the Golden Deer, Lysifia and Dark Spikes, good night. Um, and if I fight him with the Lions, it's almost always... Um, it's almost always Dimitri, just because he's absolutely busted. Okay, uh, let's make sure we get all the right people in here. So all of our lions. Um, do we have anybody left? No, we got everyone. Um, oh, we do need to put uh, by left back on a the horse. There we go. I hope to not. Yeah, so this is going to be the main problem here because these guys have super high HP, they have really good defense, and they have barriers all over. There's actually a lot of stuff with barriers here, and there's a lot of people on ballistas, which is the only thing you cannot counter with um, the Chalice of Beginnings is magic like this. So we're gonna definitely need some, um, some long-range people along the way. I'm probably gonna send who has the Lampos shield I think that's her right uh, the Aurora shield yeah so we're gonna send her over here because she's very good at tanking mages so she can start dealing with this guy and this guy and all this stuff over here and she has the Aurora shield so this uh, bow user won't be able to do anything to her. We do have a bunch of chests over here. I think I'm actually gonna send Ash or no, let's send Felix. I need someone competent. Uh, Felix, you go over there. And and the rest is gonna get split. We're gonna send. Our mages. Over there. Good. Yeah, I think this should actually work. Alright. Oh, and of course, we're going to have to give 
Felix, if he's going to go back there, we're gonna, he's gonna need some chest keys because we have two chests that we need to get. Okay. Let's go. Even though we smashed the main gate, Fort Mercius is still an ironclad fortress. And the enemy commander is the Death Knight. We must not falter in our assault. Gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. I now see why they call this keep impregnable. Everywhere you turn is defensive weaponry. We must capture all of those locations as we push forward. If even one of them takes a shot at you, we will be in trouble. Yeah, don't worry about it, Dimitri. We'll be fine. 